What's going on? Ryan Troy back with another video for you today. And in this video, we'll be going behind the scenes on how I got this image right here that I took in a studio, create a studio to be specific. So I got inspiration based off of a post that I saw on Pinterest. I tried to recreate it, but I wanted to put my own twist on it. Now, the thing about Creative Studios, if you're ever here in Columbus, there is an owner there named Alex, and I pretty much look at him like a creative director. He has amazing ideas and our chemistry is real good so usually when i shoot there he's always there to also you know give a little bit more inspiration to the looks and everything that we could do i'll link his info down below um he makes a lot of great reels on instagram so trust me if you're into things like that as well you should definitely give him a follow so also i want to apologize for the bts footage it's a little bit it doesn't look all that good um but i'm i just got my z6 i'm still tweaking the settings and i didn't really come from video i'm more of a photographer slash retoucher i'm honestly more of a retoucher slash photographer so bear with me on that so let's head on over to the studio so i can show you how i got these shots and then we'll come back here and that way i'll show you how i edited this photo this one particular photo to make it look like we shot it in the pool when in reality we just shot it in the studio Okay, let's go. So this is the pose that I drew my inspiration from, from Pinterest. So this is actually the exact same pose. So I had her sit on the Apple box and just hold up the inner tube, but after a while it got a little bit too hard. So we sat on the bench, put the inner tube on the Apple box and we got these. So we decided to switch it up. We had to do a little bit of different poses, but I start feeling like one of those things you see in an amusement park with the heads cut out and then people stick their heads through it to take photos. And I really didn't want that type. So I had to stand up, take some in the inner tube like this. I was really going for a 90s, maybe late 80s type of look, kind of retro. And uh, we got these. So now I get to bless you with more behind the scenes of actual me, uh, some close ups all in my space. You know what I mean? I like to call that pose that I'm doing with the camera, the back of the mirrorless cover your eyes type of thing. Uh, feel free to take it. Uh, I'm going to copyright that, but feel free to take it. Just make sure you call it the same thing. You know what I mean? Get my workout on. After a while, I'm going to start working out my glutes squatting down making sure you get that perfect image you, you know how we do it nice do that again so as you can see i got a little bit of the ground but it's no worries in photoshop we go ahead on and fix the backdrop if you need any help with anything like that just make sure you comment below and let me know and i'll make a dedicated video on just how to clean up studio paper and any other thing like that also if you made it this far make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe if you haven't now this is where we got the inspiration for that look that i was talking about actually i'll be honest alex gave me this inspiration he came up with this whole thing that's a wrap 
now that we're back here is the image this is the straight out of camera image right here um, I went ahead on and if you look at the history I applied the page smile preset from my preset pack if you haven't purchased my preset pack don't know what you're waiting for I, I really don't at this point it kind of sells itself um, so this is a before and this is a after uh, then I went with a crop just to make it a little bit more perfect for the eye and after that I brought it into Photoshop so let's head on over to Photoshop now this is it pretty much straight out of Lightroom in Photoshop and after this what I went ahead on and did was I dodged and burned the skin um, and then I did a little frequency separation which you will see on this layer right here okay now after I did that the skin just was a little bit too flat for me so after that I went with a global dodge and burn layer which I went ahead on and dodged areas that I felt like the sun should hit her and uh, burned areas where I felt it should be shade so let me go ahead on and turn that on and then as you can see like right here in the arm I'll turn that off and then turn it back on um, that just pretty much shaped her body a little bit more to make it look less flat more realistic basically so after that i went ahead on and i did a sky replacement now if you don't know photoshop has a sky replacement tool which you can find here under edit and then sky replacement now it's not visible for me right now because i'm highlighting on the folder and not on the actual layer with the image on it but you will click that and let me tick that on so you can see what that looks like so i had to actually go into this when i made it and go over these masks and pretty much just paint because it had the sky all over the inner tube and i didn't like the way that looked so i went ahead on and i took it out from this area and then after that i used my infinite color um plugin i guess you could say i don't really have a link to them um i use it usually just to change the image up a little bit if i wanted to just play around with it so i'm gonna tick that on as well and pretty much that's all it really did it kind of made my greens a little bit greener but i like the, the way the image turned out like that so and overall this right here is the final image and as you saw i shot this in the studio but we just wanted to make it look like she was at the beach or at the pool and that's how we achieve this image if you like what you saw today and if you was able to stick through that bts footage make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe if you aren't and i'll see you in the next video peace